me like <laughs> What have I done? I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. I've got to get rid of it. I'm covered in blood. I can't go anywhere looking like this.
sir. The waitress. She noticed something. I'm done for. Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. I... Excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Quick, before somebody finds the body. get here. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Doc's dining. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I wanna make sure she gets home okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. Came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. 
Could anyone else have come in? No, uh, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Fetch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good night. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? You know, uh, you really shouldn't be outside tonight. It's freezing cold. If you want, I could have them come and pick you up and... Oh, leave me alone! I'm just fine. I don't need nobody. Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. Okay, I'm gonna go. Try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. I saw someone! Uh, or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Uh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> oh, the door only opens from the inside. Tyler's got the keys to the car. I better go find him. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Ty? 
Tyler! What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No. This is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Let's get all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. Cool. Carla agrees to go. Let's get into the car before she changes her mind. Ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody showed a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop.
wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that. Hi, this is Lucas Kane. I'm not here right now, so please leave a message. Hello, Lucas. It's Marcus. I'm calling because tomorrow is the 10th anniversary of the accident. And I thought, well, maybe you might want to go together this time. Anyway, give me a call. Goodbye. I can't go out looking like this. New York Police, please open the door. These images in my head... I must be losing my mind.
Hey, you're listening to KWN605, and it's now time for the Weather Flash with Cindy! Uh that should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. New York police, please open the door. It's the police. They know it. They, they've come to arrest me. Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door immediately. to knock it down. This is your last warning. Open the door now or I knock it down. I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass, and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Whatever. Go ahead. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you, I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow! When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. I understand. Long, Mr. Kane.
After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. Massacre in East End Restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom of a...